Hello and welcome to the cold start video for the 1995 AMG E36. Very quickly, so here's the temperature on the head is sat around about 8 degrees and the body works 9 degrees ish, but it's been sat in the garage so it's nice and cold and ready to go. If you could start the engine please. Couple of revs, please. And again, if I can have a couple more revs, that's great. Thank you. from Trade Classics and today I am in a Mercedes-Benz E36 AMG. Uh, I'm here with the owner Don and this is the on the road video so we're going to get to know the car a little bit more. Uh, if you haven't watched yet we've just done the meet the owner video so please pop across there have a look at that so you get to meet Don a bit and sort of his relationship with the car. So let's jump in very quickly on this car then. Um, AMG so obviously the sportiest models they, the model yeah, they the do. It's nearly 36, 36 yeah. straight six engine. Yeah, that's right, and we're just seeing it in the pictures as well, under the bonnet and all that. So very quickly, so we're in sort of uh, West Midlands. Yeah. Uh, we're, at the moment we're on a dual carriageway. Um, it's kind of, we want to come down here so we can sort of open it up a little bit because it's the sort of car that you'd really cruise and tour in, isn't it's it? A, it's, a, it's a GT car, it's a Grand Turismo. Exactly, so we thought where better to take it. So it's a very nice smooth road at the moment. Um, a bit later on we'll, go, we'll hit a few back roads and we'll get to sort of feel the suspension a bit more. Um, and yeah, so we just want to see how the car goes and how it feels. So I'm going to throw it across to you, so sort of We'll move on to the acceleration a bit when we do an acceleration, but the steering and the braking on this car is absolutely, uh, absolutely perfect. It steers absolutely straight. It's great. It stops brilliantly. That's right. It, uh, uh, it does everything. It's it is. And it, when you brake, it brakes in a nice straight line. Absolutely straight line. Yeah, absolutely and there's no straight, there's no shakes, no, there's no wiggles. No, yeah, nothing. that's brilliant. Absolutely. Absolutely first. Mate. Yeah, and um, so we're now coming around this roundabout. We're just about to hit the, the dual carriageway again, so um, we'll get to feel the acceleration on it. So obviously it's quite a big car. So initial acceleration isn't the sort of the fastest, is it? But I think it's it's not to sixty six seconds. Six it's seconds. seven seconds. So yeah, so pretty good, yeah. especially for the size of the car. So so if we were to put the foot down now. The kick down goes really well and you get thrown into the back of the seat and away we go. And he's not going to be very happy. Yeah, um, I think we just upset the discovery driver because we just saw accelerating past. Um, and she goes, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. no problem at yeah. all. So the back end drops down, you get pushed to the back of the seat and you just feel the acceleration. It's very smooth as well, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. The, there's no sort of flat spots or anything like that. It just, it just goes and the dials sort of work their way around the gauges and yeah absolutely beautiful as she goes um, and with that obviously we're now sort of cruising along what about 65 65 70, 70 and the steering wheel is not shaking there's no there's no vibration at all. Um, and then we'll just quickly talk through a few other things in here so automatic gearbox so no need to worry about clutches or anything like that um, as I mentioned when we accelerated there it, it kicks down nicely it, it's instant and then she picks up. Um, just a few other features we've got there. It's got an economy mode as well. Yeah. You know, um, you 
economy or sport mode. Yeah. All the windows are electric and I've had to play around and they're all working. Heated seats. Heated seats. Air conditioning. Air conditioning, yeah. Yeah. Works air conditioning. Yeah. Stereo system, as you say, you had the, the aerial done on it. Yeah, um, it's the it's the original one in the car. It yeah. was um, you know that's 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 what it came with, yeah. Came with, yeah. Yeah, um, and, and it's the one that's in the handbook and everything. Yeah, oh, brilliant. And yeah, I'm sort of looking at the the dials now. So there's no lights on that shouldn't be on. The temperature gauge is working fine, um, and all the needles are doing exactly what they should do. We've got we've got fuel. Um, I believe the clock the clock's currently at the slightly at the wrong time. I'm guessing it's, oh, it's on. The, it's on the old time. Isn't it, it? It's the hour out. <laughs> yeah, it's an hour out. But obviously, it's working. Yeah, so everything work from here is working really well. Um, but yeah, so driving-wise, you're really happy with this car. <laughs> in fact, I just sit here and you think, well, why am I selling it? <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. And how, how would you, so when we do a lot of these in interviews, um, there's quite a lot of the time it's cars without power steering, without servo assisted brakes and things like that. And it's always, you know, they sort of mention, well, the clutch is heavy, you know, it's an old car, you get, you, you know, you have to get used to the way it drives. Um, obviously, this is a slightly more modern car, it's a 95. Um, and you're there, you're, nobody would have any problem driving this yeah. car. Um, uh, compared, compared to, because obviously you drive a modern car as well, compared yeah. to that, it's very similar or? Well, the, well our, my other cars are a diesel. Uh, BMW. Yeah. Um, this is a different type of engine. This yeah. really makes you feel good when you get going, uh, as, you, as you just felt. Yeah. The, the, the top end of them is absolutely, but the car just drives very, very nicely. That's right. Yeah. You, know, you don't. You know, it's got enough when you want it. Yeah. You know, you don't have to. It's, it's got the fun factor. It's got the wow factor. It's got yeah, the fun factor. Yeah, it's that's definitely yeah. got the fun factor. Uh, uh, and people will. And when you go to a pub mm. you, and you park outside, and there's all those other things that you know, that, and th everywhere sort of look at that. You know, that's that's yeah. the difference. You feel like you've got a, a different car. That's it. That's you do brilliant. feel like you've got a yep. different car. Yep. Um, and then just to very quickly mention before I, I flip the camera around and you can have a look at the dials and the roads we're on and that. Um, we've now sort of hit sort of main road and we're sort of a little bit more bumpy and there's no knocks are there there's no knocks or bounds Nothing. it's very smooth it's very precise as well isn't it there's very very precise it, yeah. it's quite sporty but not you know you could still enjoy the drive for Absolutely. hours on end yeah. Yeah. Which, which is quite strange because it's a GT car yeah. it's a Grand Turismo yeah. It's, uh... yeah so right now I'm just going to flip the camera around so the guys watching the video can actually see what the dials are doing and the roads we're on and, and go from there So there we go. We've sort of we've, we've talked through the car. We've sort of enjoyed the drive really, um, and hopefully we've passed on enough information to the people looking at this video to decide whether this is what they want to buy or, or whether it's not quite for them. Um, yeah. So very quickly, I'd, I'd like to say thank you, Don, for looking after me throughout this process. I've had a couple of cups of tea and <laughs> we've, we've had a good chat about it all and everything. And. I can tell you, you're very passionate about this car. I, I love the car. It's you're, a beautiful car. You'll be very sad to see it go. Yeah, but I will. It's a part of my history. I've started the business when I bought this car, yeah. and um, I it. shall be sad to see it you're go. Sad. But hopefully, it'll go to a good owner, somebody yep, who's hopefully. going to love it as much as you have, and yep. and yep. it's going to get a few more miles under its belt. Yep. Hopefully. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Thank you.